everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of BTV. I'm Faith. And I'm Luis. On today's episode, we'll be covering the Chemistry Club, the Class Emergency Medical Services, and the Christmas Parade. Hey, Faith. Yeah? Have you ever heard of chemistry? Yeah, it's a science. I meant the Chemistry Club. Oh, no, I haven't. Well, it's a club that works on science experiments. With a slight shake. Bigger yes. shit. Can we get that green, baby? <laughs> the Buena High School science program is extensive, and it has an extracurricular program to match. At 3 o'clock on Wednesdays, its own chem club meets in room 2204. It is just kind of a group of students who have like a shared love of chemistry, who like to do experiments and like to learn more uh, past what we learn in classes, and just kind of have our own direction in doing things. And we like to kind of spread that out and give that knowledge and that love of learning to new people who might not think chemistry is very interesting. Again. The Chem Club teaches with hands-on labs and short debriefings afterwards, helping to explain why things happen the way they do without weighing their explanations down with sometimes complicated math. In regular chemistry class it felt like we were just doing stuff out of the book and not really understanding the like interactive part of chemistry. And in Chem Club you can kind of see that chemistry can be fun and exciting. By putting chemistry into more digestible terms, encourages students otherwise deterred by the math of chemistry to join in on the science fun. Chem Club is open to interested students who enjoy doing chemistry-based labs and want to learn more about science behind it, minus the math. They meet in room 2204 and hope to see you there. Yes. Yes. Wow, that was quite a show. Yeah. And speaking of shows, EMS and theater teamed up together to practice different medical scenarios. Mr. Lebrecht is an ex-firefighter and when he retired, he started teaching EMS here at Buena High. Students that take his classes get to learn from his experience and background through practical exercises. So I have a uh, two-year program, Emergency Medical Services, um, where we teach pretty much anything related to emergency medicine. You know, everything from basic life support stuff on up to like emergency medical technician level on up even paramedic skills. I teach some paramedic skills here to those students that want to learn them, you know. Well, mostly because I wanted to pursue a career in EMS and EMT, but the, the big part of joining EMS was to make sure I had the skills to do something if something happened at home or at school. So instead of sitting around when something's happening, I can actually go and help. Mr. Lebrecht has partnered with theater performance students and criminal justice students to conduct special drills that give his students realistic training. Uh, so it's not just theater we work with. We'll, uh, what'll happen is I'll have theater act out emergency uh, scenarios. And I'll go to criminal justice and they'll get their kids involved in the way that they'll go down and make the scene safe first, just like in real life. When the drills are happening, it's a lot of excitement and a lot of adrenaline because we have a lot of the theater kids from theater do acting like someone will be pretending to be shot or someone will be pretending to be you know coughing from a forest fire it's real exciting mr lebrecht is planning more drills for his students in the future to help prepare them for their future career choice my intent and my goal would be to do at least three more next semester so probably about six overall throughout the year um, and then, of course, if you take a two-year course, you'll have done a dozen uh, real-life scenarios by the time you finish with the two-year course. And we, of course, kick them up a notch as we do. So. They sure are prepared for their career path. Yeah, maybe one day they'll be in the parade. Parade? The Christmas parade. What? Last Saturday night, the city hosted our annual Christmas parade, and many Buena students, a part of clubs, organizations, and extracurricular classes, took part in it. The Sierra Vista Christmas Parade was just this Saturday. Several of Buena's clubs, classes, and extracurricular activity organizations were there demonstrating their talents and skills. Uh, it was okay. Our lines were not the greatest, though. It was, it was pretty fun. Uh, I got to see some friends, got to do some high fives while doing relays. It was, it was pretty cool. Reasons why students decided to be in the parade was different for everyone, whether it be hanging out with friends or doing something you love. I'm in band, and I like being in band. <laughs> uh, it's pretty fun. I've done it for 
three years now. And uh, yeah, it's just really fun hanging out with all my friends riding in the parade. Even though you had a reason to join in the first place, when you actually go to do it, your favorite part could be something completely different. The start, because it was cool. <laughs> we did a lot of cool stuff at the start. Probably just hanging out with all my friends, getting to, just, you know, don't get to do that much. Overall, a lot of the people who went to go see the parade and the people who were in it had a lot of fun with it. Well, that was the, quite the performance everyone did out there. Speaking of performances, make sure you study for finals next week. With the, with the semester coming to an end, it's important that you're catching up with your final grades. Well, it's all the time we have. Thanks for tuning into this, episode, into this week's episode of BTV. I'm Luis, signing out. And I'm Faith. See you next time.